What innovations in strategic and technical thinking will be required to deliver the flexible energy needs of customers? The LNG market is really changing right now. It's becoming a lot more liquid, a lot more flexible. And uh, we have to respond to that by having uh, flexibility in deliveries, uh, seasonality that can respond to the needs of power generation as weather changes, and, and frankly, uh, shorter tenure in contracts. All, every seller is a buyer and every buyer a seller in our business, um, and so we're going to be trading cargoes much more rapidly. I think today there are 14 cargoes loaded every day that come into the market, and most of those are transacted on the telephone. So we need technology to come in uh, so that trading can happen online. With the current political trends reshaping the industry as we know it, how do you expect this supply and demand dynamics to change? I find the biggest impact on the demand side coming from the political commitment for clean air and often get inspired thinking we're not exporting natural gas, we're exporting clean air. Um, but the environmental imperative to uh, decarbonize and, and reduce pollution in a lot of the major cities is leading to the conversion from coal to natural gas for power generation and, and also uh, for residential. So um, the increase to demand from just that political trend is incredible. We think that we'll easily be over a 500 million ton market uh, sometime after 2025. Do you believe your next generation business model will be implemented in more projects going forward? I see it anyway in inter international projects where really our next generation model is back to the future a bit. It's only saying that we're going to produce the gas in the field and have an integrated chain all the way to the liquefaction plant, which is new for the US, but is actually the traditional way of building uh, international projects. So uh, the biggest change I think right now is that we're on like the next wave of construction worldwide. And whereas the US construction happened with traditional project financing, uh, now there's more balance sheet projects uh, that are moving forward. So uh, we're not so different, uh, just different for US. Tellurian has had some good news regarding the draft EIS from FERC for the Driftwood LNG terminal facility. What does this mean for the project? Yes, that's uh, Friday actually. We received the draft uh, EIS, Environmental Impact Statement, and it's a major milestone for us in the regulatory process. Um, it really kind of sets the clock for the uh, permits to be completed, and there's a public comment period, um, but by January we should have the project fully permitted. And that just means we can begin construction uh, in the first half of 2019. So we're very excited to be on schedule to deliver LNG in 2023. What inspired you to build your career in the energy industry? The natural gas business for me was a bit of a serendipity, so I uh, answered an ad in the Washington Post when I received my first job in the energy business. And I went into to natural gas um, at, on international projects working for a consulting company and really just found that it's a fascinating business to combine everything, um, economic development, political factors, worldwide trade, um, you know, international partnerships and, and friendships. And the LNG business, I think, is unique even within energy because it's a much more collegial. Um, everybody is a small family in a way. So this is really what I've enjoyed more than anything else. And finally, LNG is a grown-up commodity. So we're experiencing, you know, the change in, in the industry like never before. What have you enjoyed most about GasTech 2018? Well, I have to say, a bit unexpected, but the most amazing thing yesterday was the opportunity to meet the King of Spain. So um, I've never shake, shook the hand of a king. Um, I don't think you're supposed to shake the hand of the king, 
but since he offered, uh, we were honored uh, for His Majesty to be here. And other than that, the conference itself um, is the perfect way to bring everybody together for you know meetings um, in a in a convenient and collaborative fashion. So we look forward to the next couple days of that. And the Gas Tech organizers have uh, been very successful so far. Thank you.